Hey, it's John Mark, and thanks for checking out this latest drawing video on watching me do the final step on one of the aliens from Marvin the Martian. All right, let's begin the lesson. Hey, so now comes the fun part of watching me do this little character. Well, it's not just a character. It's a well-known character in the classic Warner Brothers series with Marvin the Martian. Occasionally, you're going to see Bugs Money and maybe even a Daffy Duck and a Porky Pig. Hmm. Anyways, so as what you can see that I'm currently doing is I'm working off of my stylus, my Wacom stylus, and I am actually rotating what I'm drawing, what you're actually seeing. So a typical artist such as myself who is trained to be an animator, we have our little animation tablet. I'll show that at another episode, how I have my animation table, the old classic Disney frame by frame animation. Anyway, so what I want you to really uh, take a notice of my step. This is my third step in cleaning up. You can see the two other uh, steps possibly below. Definitely the second one, the, the final uh, blue line is a little bit more tighter than my initial sketch from the first one. You can also check this video out that I have this step by step on this little alien bird. Now, what you'll notice is that the strokes that I'm using is how my hand actually is more comfortable and flowing. So if it's a little bit going up or a little bit going to the right and curve, I kind of feel that out. On the side of my computer, I have a, like a rotating uh, tablet button that I'm actually rotating the screen with. So it makes it a lot easier to see. So right now, as you can see, the screen's not rotating. It's really locked in. I'm currently working off the latest Photoshop version program and I have it in three different layers so, all right so you get a little bit here on the face there okay and then finish on the top of the little the headpiece a little flower there as you can see here I can easily do this with my hand in the motion that I am right now because they're short strokes but if I want to get a nice long stroke I might need to rotate it and then I have my other hand that's on my little uh, space bar that helps me actually um, take and move the picture around left and right, like right there. There we go. And I just zoomed in intentionally so you can see me doing a little bit closer. That's the one thing I really like with the digital art. When you get older, your eyes get older too. So this just helps me see a little bit clear. So I don't have to like squint or anything. And now I'm just taking around the, the little neck with all that little feather. As you can see, I'm rotating it. And it's a lot easier with my stroke in that particular way. So I'm not like moving my whole arm or my body. I stay still and I make the paper rotate for me a lot easier than moving your whole body. And the gestures with my pencil, I can get a, a lot better uh, stroke. That's my technique. May not work for you, but I'm just letting you know what works for me and uh, how I actually enjoy drawing. All right, let's move it up. And you can see some of these longer strokes now. I'm going to work on. Okay. There we go. And that was it because that was a straight down one and on his body. Now I want to see this one here underneath his armpit then. Okay. There we go. Get this one all set. There we go. That was easy for that, that section. And then I'm just going to constantly go back and with a different stroke. So the pencil that I have is actually a, a nice uh, brush pencil that kind of looks like a typical mechanical pencil when you push down hard and they can let up so you get like that nice little finished soft line uh, on another episode I'll actually show you all my different brushes that I use for pencils and then I can change the point size because currently right now I'm working off of a six when I started with the blue I actually worked off of between a 14 and a 12 point a, not, a much bigger bigger brush as you can see the body is a little bit on the blue is a lot heavier and then I just like the tighter um, lead pencil the darker uh, black outline to finish the character up in this case it takes some time as you can see here this is about the time typically to do a cleanup now to come up with a character in the right pose it may not come up as quickly as I'm cleaning up because you got to get the right gesture that you would like to have. You need some model sheets to make sure you're in line to the character, unless it's just a made up one, one of a kind. But this, as you know, is a well-known character in the Warner Brothers series with Marvin the Martian, the little alien and how they multiply. It's really fun, really uh, fun characters that they had back then. And then just finishing up the leg there. As you can see here, I'm just moving it around to make it the best spot for my hand. 
to feel comfortable. And why do I go from one area to another area? It's whatever my eye uh, gravitates to. And I might not finish that leg. I might just go up to it with the arm and go back. That's me. I'm an artist. <laughs> and now I'm just going to finish that back part of the leg right there. Just like that. get that little stroke. Let's move it. So I feel more comfortable going down. That's it. Finishing that up. This was a simple one. And see what I can do with this now is remember, I have it on three different layers. The first layer is the first sketch that I did just to sketch out the, uh, the visual of the character. The second layer is more in-depth, tighter lines than the first one. And then the third one is this black line on top of all the other two. Now, why do I do that is typically when you do drawing on a piece of paper, you're not going to have access to that. But now, since you're doing it on a digital, you're very fortunate that you can do that. By separating the two, accidentally, if I don't like what I did, I can easily erase it, but I would erase the blue lines. And the blue lines are really beautiful to look at. And I can actually take that line art and possibly turn it into a vector art and start coloring and airbrushing it in or whatever watercolor technique I want to use from a Photoshop brush. But with the blue lines on that same layer, I couldn't. I would have to erase and clean it up. That's the key that I like when I'm working with layers. Just about done with this hand here, and this should be finishing up this uh, little lesson. As I say in the past, you should check out some of my other videos. I have a ton of them on there. The step-by-step -step is not just the ones you see in the very beginning, the most past few months that I've done. I've also have actually uh, watched me draw live on the computer screen, uh, different classic animation and also poses and other action and elements. If it's a an explosion to a little um, flaming sword. But I would love to challenge you guys to take this picture like this and show it to your family and friends after you complete. Don't throw the art away always. Keep it as a, uh, as a reference. Anyways, I want to say thanks for checking out this video and have a great day.